6 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Aisha Nayak. First, the headlines. Prime Minister has expressed resolve to pursue CPAC with the new vigor and commitment by focusing on multiple sectors. Minister for Information has expressed commitment to stabilize economy and address issue of inflation. Minister for Defense Production says Pakistan strictly believes in peaceful coexistence policy. Joint session of parliament resumes in Islamabad tomorrow to formulate strategy against desecration of Holy Quran in Sweden. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Kashmiri people continue to bear brunt of Amrahanath Yatra in form of atrocities by Indian forces. In Super 6 qualifiers stage of ongoing World Cup qualifiers in Zimbabwe, match between Oman and West Indies is underway. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Mohammad Shabazz Sharif has extended his heartfelt congratulations on Pakistan and China on completion of 10 years of China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. In a message of felicitation, he congratulated the leadership and people of the two countries, saying that Pakistan and China are iron brothers and CPEC is a new chapter in this time-tested and evergreen strategic partnership. Addressing a ceremony in this regard in Islamabad today, Prime Minister expressed resolve to pursue China-Pakistan economic corridor with a new vigor and commitment by focusing on areas such as agriculture, special economic zones, information technology and exploration of natural resources. The Prime Minister commended the unstinted support of the Chinese leadership and companies of the CPAC. He also recognized the Chinese financial support to Pakistan in recent months. Shabar Sharif said the staff-level agreement has been reached with the IMF. He expressed the confidence IMF's board meeting on Wednesday next will approve the agreement. In his remarks on the, chi on the occasion, Chinese charged the affair Ms. Pang Zhe said the CPAC is one of the most successful projects of the Belt and Road Initiative. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif has directed the Punjab Chief Minister to immediately activate rescue teams to cope with the situation arising out of heavy rains in the province. According to a statement released by Prime Minister's office, Prime Minister stressed for ensuring coordination among the District Administration, Rescue 1122, PDMA and other relevant departments. He said steps should be taken to shift the people and livestock in rural areas to safer places. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Mariam Aurangzeb has expressed commitment to stabilize economy and address the issue of inflation. Addressing a news conference in Islamabad today, she said people are fully aware of the fact that PMLN always delivers on the economic front. Responding to our question, Maria Morangzeb said the government does not believe in political victimization. She, however, said that the PTI chairman will have to respond to the allegations against him. Minister for Defence Production Mohammad Isra Tareen says Pakistan strictly believes in the policy of peaceful coexistence. He was talking to a defence delegation of Azerbaijan, which called on him in Rawalpindi today. The minister appreciated the brotherly feelings of Azerbaijan government for Pakistan on all international fora, including OIC and United Nations. He also expressed Pakistan's strong desire to broaden and strengthen its partnership with Azerbaijan in all fields. The United States has expressed confidence in policies and programs of the incumbent government for bringing economic sustainability in the country. The expression was made by U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan Donald Bloom while talking to Minister for Finance and Revenue Ishaq Dar in Islamabad today. The ambassador extended his support to further promote bilateral economics, investment and trade relations between the two countries. The two sides exchanged views over areas of common interest and discussed ways to further enhance existing bilateral relations. 
The joint session of the parliament will resume tomorrow at 3 in the afternoon at the Parliament House in Islamabad. Earlier, the session was adjourned to meet again on Monday at 5 in the evening. A debate on recent incident of the secretion of Holy Quran in Sweden will be held in the session and a strategy will also be formulated on the issue. The joint sitting will also likely to adopt a resolution to condemn the secretion of the Holy Quran. China has a strongly denounced Holy Quran as Secretion Act in Sweden. Addressing a news briefing in Beijing, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Neng said that China opposes any form of Islamophobia. She acknowledged the important contribution made by the Islamic civilization for the world. In Balochistan, elections for chairman and vice chairman of local government in 35 districts will be held tomorrow. According to spokesman of a provincial election commissioner, Balochistan, Polling will start at 8 in the morning and will continue till 4 in the evening without any break. This is Radio Pakistan. The 24th Shahadat anniversary of a Captain Colonel Sheikh Khan Shaheed, Dishan Heather, is being observed today. In his message on the occasion, Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif said the nation will always remain indebted to these heroes who sacrificed their lives for the country. He said Colonel Sheikh Khan Shaheed was a brave son of Pakistan whose valor was admired even by the enemy. On the other hand, armed forces of Pakistan chairman, joint chief of staff committee and services chiefs also paid glowing tribute to Captain Colonel Sheikh Khan Shaheed. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Kashmiri people continue to bear brunt of ongoing militarized and communal Hindu pilgrimage, Amarnath Yatra in form of intensified raids, crackdowns and search operations by Indian occupation forces. Sleuths of Special Investigation Unit along with personnel of Indian Army, Central Reserve Police Force and police raided several houses right from Kishtwar and Ramban districts in Jammu region to Srinagar, Gandabal, Islamabad, Fulwama, Shupanya, Kulgam and Bandipura districts in the Kashmir Valley. President of People's Democratic Party Mehbooba Mufti, in an article published by a web portal, said justice has lost its meaning to the Kashmiri people since Modi regime abrogated the special status of occupied territory on August 5, 2019. On the other hand, a growing popularity of the Khalistan movement has frustrated the Narendra Modi-led Indian government so much so that New Delhi has to request US, Canada, UK and Australia not to give space to the UK Sikh activists on their soils. Saudi Ministry of Hajj and Umrah has started issuing electronic visas for Umrah. This step is part of its efforts to facilitate more Muslims to visit Kingdom and raise quality of Umrah services to achieve goals of Saudi Vision 2030. Russia's Kursk and Belgorod regions have come under fire from Ukrainian forces across border. According to region's governors, no casualties were reported. Israeli jets have struck a Gaza Strip today after its forces withdrew from Jenin in occupied West Bank. The two-day raid martyred at least 12 Palestinians in Jenin and one in Ramallah with dozens more wounded. China has cancelled a visit by European Union's top diplomat, Joseph Borrell, who was due to arrive in Beijing on 10th of this month. According to European Union spokesperson Neville Misseresli, the visit has been cancelled amid ongoing disagreements over issues relating to trade, human rights and the Ukraine war. Now in the Super 6 qualifier stage of ongoing World Cup qualifiers in Zimbabwe, the best West Indies has scored 118 runs for two wickets in 34 overs a short while ago. Batting first, Oman scored 221 runs for the loss of 9 wickets in allotted 50 overs. And finally, the weather report. Rain, wind and thunder showers expected in Kashmir, Gilgit, Baltistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Islamabad, Potohar region, Upper and Central Punjab and North East Balochistan during the next 12 hours. However, isolated heavy rainfall are also expected in Upper Punjab, Islamabad, Kashmir and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa during the period. Very hot and humid weather is expected in other parts of the country. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletin on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.